Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's understand associative property that is associativity with respect to R gate and NAR gate. Here in the question, they have asked to demonstrate the non-associativity of NAR gate. So first let us understand non-associativity of R gate first. So as we know, R gate gives A plus B, NAR gate gives the output A plus B whole bar. So this is the output of R gate and this is the output of NAR gate. First let us write associativity for R gate. It says A plus B of plus C is equal to A plus of B plus C. And this is these two expressions are equal. We can take any of the uh, variable outside and we can group the extra two as like this. So the if you write the circuit for this, it is one R gate giving A plus B first and then we are taking C. So it gives A plus B plus C. So we can group these two. Similarly here, this R gate gives B plus C first and then we are taking A. So this output is A plus of B plus C. We can write like this. Now let us say take some random way values like I am taking 1 1 0 as input and also for this also 1 1 0. So first let us evaluate this R gate. This R gate gives 1 1 as input output will be 1 here. And now we need to take this C as 0 and 1 as input for this R gate for 0 1 what is the output again? This is also 1. So now the output is 1 for this set of inputs. Let us evaluate the second circuit. So first R gate is this 1 0. 1 0 gives the output is 1. So here we will get 1. And now we need to take this 1 and this 1 into this R gate. Again 1 1 gives 1 as result 1. So here also output is 1. Here also output is 1. You can take any other value as input and verify these two are equal. So we say R gate satisfies the associative property. Now let us consider NAR gate. So if we consider NAR gate how the associative expression need to be written. First we need to group A plus B bar and now we are writing one more ex, uh, variable C and we are writing whole bar. Since this is also taking a NAR gate, right? That's why whole bar comes. Don't confuse with C bar. It is whole bar. Now we need to equate this to A plus of grouping B plus C together, putting bar, whole bar. So these two are not equal. So I have written the circuit here by taking this. Let us see an example with the same example which we have taken in the previous case. Let us take 110 here and also 110 here. Remember this is NAR gate. For 11 what is the output of NAR gate? It is 0. Here we will get 0. Now we need to take this 0 and this 0 into consideration. For 0, 0 what is the output of NAR gate? It is 1. Now for the second circuit means that is for the LH RHS circuit. First evaluate BC together. BC will be having 1, 0. So for 1, 0 what is the output of NAR gate? It is 0. Here we will get 0. Now A will be having 1. 1 and 0 as the input for this NAR gate. What is the output for 1, 0? 1, 0 is 0. So output is 0 here. What we get here? 1. But what we get here? It is 0. So these two are not equal. That's why NAR gate will not satisfy the associative property. It is non-associative we say. So to prove that, prove this in a proper way, we need to go with the LHS and RHS simplification. First LHS is A plus B whole bar plus C whole bar. This is the LHS. So simplify this particular bar first. It gives uh, using De Morgan's theorem. So I am using De Morgan's theorem here. So if we simplify the first bar, it gives A plus B bar as it is whole bar. This plus becomes into that is dot C bar. So this bar bar get cancelled. A plus B into C bar is the expression we got. By taking the RHS, a plus of B plus C whole bar, whole bar. Simplifying this, we get A bar into B plus C double bar. Now this double bar get cancelled, remaining with A bar dot B plus C. Now as we see, these two expressions are not same. So we say, NAR gate will not satisfy the associative property. So we say it is non-associative. This is how we can prove 
these two expressions are not equal so we can directly write this expression and this expression is not same this is what the answer for non associativity demonstration of nor gate thank you